<laughs> what? And nothing. You probably wouldn't find it as funny as me. I'm just gonna say it anyway. Don't you think it's ironic and funny that the Twisted Messes RDA doesn't come with a red drip tip? Like a red top? Are you seriously trying to make a ginger joke right now? It's Ken! <laughs> That's funny. I've told you so many times we're not doing that. We're not going there. Red. No. Orange. No. Sideburns. What up YouTube? Welcome in between two beards. I'm Justin aka Dub. I'm Ryan. And today we are doing a review on the new to us <laughs> Twisted Messes Pro Series 24. Yeah, yeah. We never got around to reviewing the, the original Twisted Messes 24. Sorry. Uh I think I think that this is actually gonna be a better video for it anyway, because we're gonna do a lot of side-by-side -side comparisons on yeah. why this is just a better, better RDA yeah. than the original 24. But uh, let's not waste any time, guys. Let's uh, jump down inside this thing and see what it has to offer, and then we'll come back out and talk about right it. Back. All right, guys, here's going to be a real quick up close with the Twisted Messes 24 Pro Series. Here is the packaging this guy comes in. I love this packaging. I think it's clever. Uh, I like it. I don't know. It, it looks like the RDA, and, yeah, it's just kind of just kind of super cool and whatever but it is a box and i'm dwelling on that for a long time so here we go inside the box you are going to get your spare goodie bag which comes with a plethora of o-rings some extra post screws and a squonking pin right there also in this bag is an 810 drip tip adapter i'll show you that in a second we are using it right now so anyway you're going to get three drip tips you're going to get a stainless steel one that matches your rda you're going to get this black Delrin guy, and then you're going to get this uh, quite a bit shorter Ultim drip tip. These are the proprietary Twisted Messes size. These are not 810, um, but yeah, they're all pretty nice drip tips. I don't really care for the stainless steel one, but that's just because I don't like metal drip tips. But anyway, regardless, you're going to get this Twisted Messes tool that we have seen in uh, his RDAs of the past, which is kind of great because this will fit into a, uh, a, a screwdriver, and then you're not dealing with just a tiny little Allen key. So there's that. When you get the RDA out of the package, this single coil air blocker guy will be in the RDA um, out of the box. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this blocks off one side of the airflow so you can rock this guy in single coil mode. And here we have the star of the show itself, the Twisted Messes 24 Pro Series. You can see fairly deeply ingrained here is the, uh, the Twisted Messes 24 logo. You've got your two big Cyclops style airflow. It says Twisted uh, Messes down here on the bottom is also engraved. It's really hard to see on the camera, but that's there. And then up top here, you've got we've got an 810 drip tip in here right now, and we have that 810 adapter installed. You can kind of see that right there. Um, that guy pops out of there, and then you can use the stock drip tips. Uh, but this one kind of matches the uh, the mod I've been using this on. So, uh, But then here you go. You've got your, uh, your gear-shaped airflow. Uh, AFC adjustment, uh, I don't know what you want to call this. You have to loosen this up to adjust your AFC. Um, on the regular Twisted Messes 24, which I'm going to bring that in right now, um, you didn't have that gear shape up there. I believe you could buy it separately, but it didn't obviously come with it. And this could be a little bit tricky to get, you know, especially if I've got juice on my fingers right now. It's kind of hard to, to get a good grip on that to unscrew. There, I got it. Um, but yeah, the, uh, that gear, that gear on top just really takes care of that. So yeah, you gotta unscrew this and then you can adjust your airflow however you like it. And then when you get where you want it, just tighten that guy down there and there you go. So yeah, anyway, you got wide open airflow on this guy. Um, I'm going to wipe this off real quick. All right. Then on the bottom here, you can see it says Twisted Messes right there. It has the Twisted Messes 24 logo there, serial number right there. And then there's your, uh, your screw for your negative post. And then there you have your, I believe, non-adjustable 510 pin gold-plated right there. And it sticks out uh, 
quite a bit, I guess, and then it does have that peak insulator, so I would say this is hybrid safe, but use uh, use your own discretion there. But, uh, but let me go ahead and throw this guy on a mod and show you the deck. All right, here is that deck, and as you can see, the deck itself is very similar to the original Twisted Messes 24 with the, uh, the two posts with the four uh, straight inline post holes. What he did do was add these very nice, beefy uh, Phillips head screws to the top instead of the Allen keys. There's Allen keys in the bag. Um, the, the screws are actually made out of titanium, which is kind of cool. Uh, these screws are quite nice. I, you guys know I don't like Allen, Allen keys, so I like seeing this. You can use a flathead or a Phillips in these. And being titanium, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, the deck is the same as the Twisted Messes 24, so I didn't feel the need to uh, to do a full build on here. But I did want to show you that three and a half millimeter fuse Claptons fit in here, absolutely no problem. We've been rocking this guy at like 140 watts um, on these three and a half millimeter coils, and yeah, it it it, it can definitely handle the power, no problem whatsoever. Uh, you've got a nice deep juice well in there, um, and yeah, otherwise it's very very much like the Twisted Messes, the original Twisted Messes 24. It just kind of came with a lot of the upgrades that were available to purchase with the Twisted Messes 24. So that's where they get the uh, whole Pro Series thing. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump back out and talk about this guy and we'll be right back. All right, guys, that was the up close of the Twisted Messes 24 Pro Series slash 24 original. Yeah. Um, and basically, guys, this is a Twisted Messes 24. It just has all the added upgrades right. to it that you could get for the 24 over the time it's been out. Yeah, he bought the 24 last year. I never bought one because after using his, I just didn't like it. Yeah, uh, you were not a big fan I'm of the I'm that guy. I'm that one person in the world that did not like the Twisted Messes 24. I hated, <laughs> I hated the way you had to adjust the airflow. The deck is fine. Yeah, the deck is fine. Um, I just trying to unscrew that thing to adjust your airflow was just a pain in the ass. Um, the, the Pro Series came along, and uh, he went ahead and bought it. I don't own one, so we only have one that we're reviewing right now. So um, that's why this took a little bit longer, because we you know, both had to use it. Um, but he fixed some of the things that I didn't like about the original. I love... Well, I might as well go ahead and jump in the pros and cons. Yeah. Um, Pros-wise, for me... The 810 drip tip adapter is small but awesome because the twist message yeah, uses it. Yeah, you gotta really press that fucker in there to, yeah, get, to it, get it, it to... Yeah, it works great because yeah. the twisted message has its own drip tip and that's totally fine. It's not a goon, so why have the goon drip tip? But he thought ahead and thought enough of his people that wanted to buy this thing to include that adapter and that's awesome. So now we can use our custom drip tips, which is fantastic. Now, having said that, in the Pro Series, I really like the fact that he included three drip tips. He had the uh, the metal drip tip came on it, yep. uh, the Delrin drip tip, yep. which is what came on the uh, 24, 24 original, yep. and then you have the upgraded... Um, that little shorter Ultim. Ultim one. Yeah. Um, I like Ultim. I just don't like the way it looked on this particular right. RDA, yeah. but it vapes fine. Uh, yeah. The metal drip tip, obviously, I don't like metal drip tips. Not because a fan it, of metal it, drip tips. Because it gets fucking hot. It gets hot, <laughs> and they make everything taste like metal, and I'm, just, I'm glad that the vaping world has moved away primarily from yeah. metal drip tips. So. But it's still there in case right. you want to go old school with it. Um, I love the ring gear, the gear. on here. Um, Thank you, yes. Twisted Messes. Thank you, Kent, in your infinite <laughs> red-headed wisdom. Instead of making that an upgrade that you got to buy after the fact, now it's just there, and that's it's awesome. Because now it you still have to stop what you're doing, unscrew it, adjust your airflow, and tighten it down. But you've got something to grip onto. Yeah. As you saw in the up close, I had juice on my a little bit of juice on my fingers, and I could not get the 24 unscrewed. So much of the issue yeah. that I had with this uh, the original 24 RDA was because you get just a little bit of just condensation bit. on your finger, and you can't turn. It's, yeah, it'd There's be, nothing to grip onto. Especially because you kind of got to crank it down to keep the airflow where it needs to be. Right. So by the time you got it cranked down, then it was so hard. Yeah. And yeah. The gear fixes that. So Exactly. Again, um, I still say that you could probably do away with a lot of that problem by just putting some form of an O-ring in there. Um, but... I understand. Want to be a little different, right. and that's the fine. The Twisted Messes series of RDAs, he's got like seven RDAs out. They've always had that unscrew, except for the squared one, but whatever. So, um, But yeah, so I'm glad so that he thought ahead enough of that. and That that definitely fixed one of my biggest gripes with yeah. the original 24. I like the packaging better of the new one, better than the, the old. The packaging is just cool. I like this little... <laughs> 
round thing. It's like, I think he, he got up one morning and looked at himself in the mirror and said, damn, you're a sexy ginger. <laughs> How can I make my RDA a sexy ginger too? Let's rock and those side There it is, man. yeah. You know? So, yeah. Um, I definitely like that. I like the fact that they included those Big, fucking, beefy titanium screws on the deck, the man. The screws are awesome. I would say you would be hard. You're trying to strip these out if you actually you do. You strip these screws out, you're doing something wrong. Right. Just playing something. Um, <laughs> I'll say this right out the gate. When I first got the Twisted Mess 24, and same on the Pro Series, I love the deck. It is simple. <laughs> it's functional. It's 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 just easy. It's, it's two upside down L's basically. Yeah, and I it, mean the only gripe, and again I'm nitpicking now because it's not just this RDA. It's any RDA that's set up like this. I like having staggered posts because you're always going to have one leg higher than the other, always. And then you know staggered posts, they just kind of slide right in, and you're good to go. On this kind of deck, the goon deck or this deck or any deck like that, you got to, you know, bend your leads to get them in there. Again, I'm nitpicking because I don't have a lot of cons with this. Right. Um, so that's one thing you just you got to bend your leads to get them in there again call me a whiny bitch i don't care that's that's one gripe i have I, the deck looks nice it's clean um i showed in the up close we have a three and a half millimeter uh fuse clapton in here rocking it at like 140 something watts and it can handle the power and that is great well that was going to be my other thing too man uh for guys that like just big beefy fucking Eiffel fucking tower size coils. Right, Dude, right. this RDA is for you because it will handle it. Last year, we had gotten some coils from Twisted Sista off of Instagram, and she is one hell of a builder. Just check her out. We have no affiliation. No, with we her don't. All, but she. But I, as a builder, mad respect to her because she can do shit that I just. And can't her coils do. are beautiful. But her coils are kind of big, so. Yeah. Like in the original recoil, some of them didn't fit. And in a couple other RDAs, they didn't fit. This, there's just. It, again, if you can't fit a coil in here, you might want to rethink how big your coils are. Right. Nice deep juice well. Deep juice well. Uh, no yeah. issues with that whatsoever. Um, obviously, the new Pro Series comes with a squonk pin for all you squonkers out there, which is starting to become more and more mainstream. Yeah. So it's nice to see that We that's... haven't squonked this yet. No, I haven't. Kind of. We, we, have, man, we have the Rage on pre-order. Can't wait for that. Can't wait to try Spoiler. some of these RDAs on a regulated squonk. So I can get the same 140 watt experience on this, that super powerful, high wattage, awesome Kent vape mm -hmm. with a squonker. That's going to be great. I'm looking forward. I'm crazy looking forward to that. Yeah. Again, I haven't bought one yet, but I might because I do like this one a lot better than the original. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm all about this, guys. There's not really much to say about it. Uh, I'm going to recommend it to people that want a lot of versatility. O-rings are great. O-rings, yes. Yeah, O-rings on the deck are phenomenal. Yeah, they're not, too, they're not too stiff. You know, it, you got to use just a little right. bit to get it off, but at the same time, it doesn't spin on you when it's you're just... trying to adjust whatever, which is important on this because... You have to to if you want to adjust right. your your right. your air air ring, um, you're gonna need that to hold good. Right. Um, I'm gonna recommend this to people that basically want a just a larger uh, with a lot more coil and options. It's still only a 24 millimeter RDA, so yeah. it's not massive. We're not talking a 30 millimeter RDA here. I think he did have a 30 millimeter RDA. It's still just a 24 millimeter RDA. We're not talking a massive 30 millimeter RDA here, which he does have, but this isn't that. Um, but the deck, the way the deck is set up and the way the posts are set up, you can just fit a freaking huge coil in well, this. Well, I that's think great. that's what's kind of nice about having the straight like that. Yeah. You can you can move up, down, side to side, however you need to see fit for any size coil you really right. want to put in there. Yeah. Now, this fucker will get hot. It gets hot. Um, obviously, vaping any RDA at 135 watts is going to get <laughs> hot, but this it does get it hot quite, hot. which yeah. is another reason why I'm happy that I have an A10 adapter so I can use an, uh, right. uh, an acrylic right. uh, drip tip to where it doesn't burn Kinda my counter fucking off, lips off. Counteracts that a little bit. That gear gets hot too, so watch your lips on the gear. The gear does get hot. And again, we've got massive coils that are sitting just barely clearing the top cap, so it's going to transfer right. heat. But so, regardless, there you like go. Like I said, guys, I'm, I'm really excited about it. And the, probably the best part about all this, and I feel kind of bad for guys that bought this and then just started buying upgrades. Uh, the Pro Series comes with all those upgrades you could possibly want for the same fucking price as the original 60 bucks. 21. 60 bucks. Yep. Um, I love that because it was like, fuck, fuck buying the upgrades. I'm right. going to get, you get, you almost get, I think it's like, a, I think they added up, it's like almost over a hundred dollars yeah, worth of upgrades. Yeah, by the time you get the, the gear top cap, which you could buy as an upgrade, the squonk pin, which you could buy as an upgrade, 
uh, those titanium screws, which you could buy as an upgrade, it was well over $100. So. And this all comes nice packaged in yeah. this cool little uh, box here, yeah. or uh, cylinder, for, <laughs> so, for yeah. 60 bucks. So Kent, Kent, good job, man. I, I we, we appreciate uh, the, uh, the I don't want to call them freebies, but the, the nice packaged stuff. Yeah, I really, uh, I really dig this. Um, and he is just a sexy ginger. I mean, I is. can't get over that. I mean, we I'm met, we got to meet Kent last yeah, year. Yeah, we he did. I feel the bad. The nicest person I've ever met in my life. Didn't really spend much time with him uh, last time we were at the vape show, but still, nonetheless, nice guy. Uh, not a very talkative guy, but very nice. Uh, Knows his shit, guys. Um, he's one of the grandfathers of this whole he thing. He was definitely so. an inspiration for me to be a builder. So, um, but yeah, guys, I, I'm I'm pretty happy with all of this. Uh, beard approved all day. Beard long. approved all day, all long. day long. The only other thing I can say is the um, the airflow is smooth. It's not drop or recoil There's rebel smooth. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of airflow. Um, obviously, you close it off and just adjust your ring accordingly to hit as much of the coil as you can. It hits great. Um, you could use this for flavor. You could use this for comp. I think it's mm. it's limited. It, it, that's what's so nice about this particular RDA is how versatile it is. It's only limited by the user. Yeah, yeah. exactly. If you want flavor, cool. Just set it up for flavor. If you want it for comp, cool. Set yeah, it up I for comp. We didn't mention it. I mentioned it up close. It comes with that single coil block too because I don't think the the, the twisted mess is yeah, really which is really ingenious. Yeah. Um, I prefer uh, when I'm using a dual coil RDA. Yeah. I like to use it as a dual coil, but. The fact that that is right. in there it's to in where there. if you, you like it. it and you want a single coil, you can do that. I think right. single coil on a dual coil RDA makes the airflow wonky and one sided, yeah. but it is what it is. It's you know, there. The fact it's, that it's there, you it's have an option. To, there's there. It's there so people can't bitch again. Well, why didn't you make a single right. coil right. option? Right. 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 I don't understand, man. Is this like a ginger trick or something? <laughs> you know, gingers really don't have a soul. <laughs> you know. So I'm sure he's like, guys, fuck it. Just put the $1 fucking block off in there. I really, <laughs> right. my sideburns and me just do not care. Right, right. So anyway, that's going to do it for us on this. Beard approved all day long. Yep. I'm going to give this RDA a solid, uh, I like it a lot. I'm going to give it an 8, guys. I'm going to go um, with a 7 because I still don't like the AFC. Right. Um, now, obviously, the original 24, that was going to drop down to about a 6 for me. The only reason I was able to even say that i liked it because when i that that airflow adjustment was really pissing me off uh is the fact that i got such a good vape off of it and i liked the vape off of it that i, I got that I, that was the only reason i was able to say yeah i really like this but you really didn't like it so the fact that this come this package comes out now new and improved it's one of the reasons we never did the review on it because every time we yeah, would be like were... hey let's do the review it's like yeah i just hate it i don't want to dog I the think, thing i think there was even like a couple like there was like two weeks there where i'm like oh well we're up on the twisted message 24 and you're like no i just bought this we yeah, gotta do this that. first we else, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's basically what it comes down right. to guys so this i guess you could call it a twofer um i still like the 24 but i would absolutely tell anybody don't even if you're gonna fuck buy one, buy the Pro with, Series. Yeah, don't fuck yeah. with the original 24 because you're gonna get a, just a much superior RDA out Absolutely. of the Pro Series. Absolutely. So having said that, social media guys, we're on all of it: Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Check us all out. It's all at In Between Two Beards. Uh, if you want to drop us a line professionally or even just say what is up, fucking bearded brethren, which <laughs> has happened. Yeah. Uh, email In Between Two Beards at gmail.com. And I think on that note, man. That's hey. going to do it till next video. Yep, vape on, guys. Vape on, guys. Mm -hmm.